Ukraine did not receive, some of the weapons it paid for, and some donated weapons are unusable. Ukraine did not receive some of the weapons it paid for, and some donated weapons are only good to be disassembled for spare parts. The New York Times wrote it citing two sources familiar with the purchase of arms in Ukraine, a high-ranking Ukrainian official and official documents of Ukraine's government. According to the newspaper, official Ukrainian government documents claim that as of the end of 2022, Kyiv had paid arms suppliers more than 800 million US dollars for contracts that were not fully or partially fulfilled. Two of the newspaper's sources involved in arms purchases for Ukraine said some missing weapons were eventually delivered and in other cases, brokers returned the money. One of them added that as of early spring 2023, hundreds of millions of dollars had been paid, including to state-owned companies for weapons that had never been delivered. Volodymyr Havrilov, Deputy Minister of Defense who deals with arms procurement, said there were cases when Ukraine paid money but did not receive weapons. According to him, this year, the government began to analyze its past purchases and exclude problematic contractors. At the same time, the newspaper notes that problems are inevitable in such a large-scale arms purchase as in Ukraine. Many of the transfers from Western allies have involved modern weapons like American air defense systems that have proven highly effective against Russian drones and missiles. But in other cases, allies have provided stockpiled equipment that, at best, needed extensive overhauls. As much as 30% of Kyiv's arsenal is under repair at any given time, a high rate, defense experts said, for a military that needs every weapon it can get for its developing counter-offensive, the newspaper reported. Ukrainian government documents show that the Ministry of Defense paid $19.8 million to an American arms dealer, Ultra Defense Corporation, to repair 33 howitzers. In January, 13 of these howitzers were sent to Ukraine but arrived unfit for combat missions, as stated in one of the documents. Ukraine accused the American company of failing to finish the job it was supposed to do by late December.